What's going on everyone? Brandon from Bulletproof Outdoors. Today I'm bringing you the seven secrets to catching more finicky walleye. That's right, seven tips to putting more walleye in your boat. If you've got your own secrets and tips, I'd sure love to hear them in the comments section below. And as always, if you're new here, you're gonna wanna subscribe, smash that bell so you don't miss anything. Here we go. Secret number one. Okay, secret number one, make sure you're using a drop shot rod. It's so important. Medium to medium heavy drop shot rod. You're gonna want that strong support so you can handle those big walleye. And most importantly, you're gonna want that fast tip at the front of your rod, that fast action tip, so that you can feel the really, really finicky bites. I'll show you what I'm working with here. Okay, I got the Shimano Crucial. This is my favorite rod. I literally have three of the exact same rod. Mine's uh, medium heavy. Fast action tip, actually I believe it's extra fast action tip, and I'll show you what that pretty much means. That means look at this super sensitive tip so you can feel those really finicky bites. A lot of time the walleye, they're just gonna tap that bait and you're barely gonna feel it. So you're gonna need that rod to really tell you that they're hitting. So a good drop shot rod, medium to medium heavy support for the big fish, and extra fast action tip, super important. Secret number two. Super simple, make sure you're using braided line. Braided line is so important for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, it is super strong. You're gonna be able to get those hook sets and not have your line break. But also, it doesn't have any stretch like some of those monofilaments and fluorocarbon lines. They stretch, which really doesn't give you that, uh, that extra strength when you're setting that hook. If it's got a bit of stretch, you're not gonna get all that power behind your hook set. So you're gonna get a better hook set and it's also got a lot of sensitivity. So you're really gonna feel those nibbles. Now always make sure you're using a uh, lighter fluorocarbon leader. I'll show you how to tie that if you look at the uh, video above for the uh, double uni knot. But you've gotta use braided line, stronger hook sets and extra sensitivity so you can really feel those finicky bites. Secret number three. Make sure you can feel bottom. Keep yourself on the bottom at all times it's, uh, it's important for a couple of reasons. Number one, you get used to feeling bottom so that you can end up telling the difference between a little rock or pulling through weeds or most importantly, a little bite. Sometimes those finicky fish just give it a little tiny nibble and if you get used to what you're feeling down there, you'll know what that is and you can set the hook. So make sure you're feeling bottom. Also, really important, if those walleye are finicky, that means they're not really feeding a lot, which means they're not aggressively moving around that water. They're probably hugging nice and tight to the bottom. So if you're jigging bottom and you can feel bottom every time, that's a good way to make sure your bait is right in that strike zone. So make sure you're always on the bottom, feeling bottom, keep your bait by those fish. Secret number four, get vertical. Make sure you are vertical jigging. I know it's a little tough if you're bank fishing or if you're fishing from shore, you're pretty much just gonna have to skip this tip, unfortunately. But if you're in your boat, you're in deep water, get vertical. Make sure you're right on top of those fish. Sometimes using a good trolling motor like a Minn Kota helps. It'll help you, uh, you just use that uh, anchor mode and you stay right on top of that fish. You're able to fish vertically on top of these fish. That helps you for a couple of reasons. Most importantly, again, we go back to stronger hook sets. If you're right on top of them, you've got no downward angle in your line. You've just got the straight up and down. So when you feel that light little bite, boom, you can set the hook, you get all that power straight through the line and you get a nice strong hook set. Also, it's a good way to just feel the fish. It's a good way to feel bottom. So if you're, if you're nice and vertical, you don't have that angle, you can tell exactly what you're feeling. So it just helps a little bit more with that uh, previous tip that I gave you, but make sure you're vertical, Fish vertical, vertical jig for finicky fish. Secret number five. Set the hook on everything. No matter what, especially if you're a beginner, as you're vertical jigging and you're hitting bottom, if you feel any change at all, even if you think it's a rock, you feel you're not really sure what that is, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Set the hook. No matter what, set the hook. If it's just a rock or it's something else, you're just gonna pull away from it, it's not gonna be a big deal. But if it was an extra finicky bite, something that wasn't quite sure, it was just taking a nibble, boom, you're gonna set that hook, you're gonna catch that fish. And a lot of times that fish is gonna just nibble it real quickly, so if you set it quick, boom, you're getting it before it gets away with a quick little taste. So most importantly, no matter what, especially if you're a beginner, if you're not sure what was going on or if you feel any change in your line, set the hook. Secret number six no matter what, wait around if you miss a fish. Even if you just think it was a nibble that you missed and you didn't set that hook, 
Or if you do set the hook but you miss the fish and you think it got away, wait around for a good 30-40 seconds because sometimes that fish was just giving it a quick taste or even a bump with their nose to see what happens. If you just missed it, maybe it's going to come back for that second opportunity. And if you did actually pull it away, sometimes it got a piece of it or it got a little taste. And just like you, if, if somebody pulled your meal away, you're going to wait around and try to get that. So a lot of times if you just wait for 30 or 40 extra seconds, that fish is going to come back and you're going to catch it. So wait around if you miss a fish. Don't pull it away and check your bait quite, quite yet. Give it a good 30 to 40 seconds and then pull it up and see what's going on. Secret number seven. Put your finger on your line. It's going to help with some of those previous tips. It really helps with feel, with feeling the bottom and with feeling the difference between bites. Here, look at what I mean. You're going to want to put your finger on your line like this. That's really going to help with sensitivity. Sometimes you can't quite feel uh, those little tiny bites. Sometimes the fish just takes it and doesn't move and you can't really feel it through the tip of your rod. But if you've got your finger on your line just like this, that really gives you that extra little bit of sensitivity and it goes a long way. Okay, I got an extra piece of paper. I guess I'll give you a bonus tip. Bonus tip. Number eight, when those fish are super, super finicky and you just can't get anything going, resort back to your little tiny, a lot of times home tied or hand tied hair jig. Nice and small, two, maybe two and a half inches, super natural. When that little bait's hitting bottom and those hairs are just flowing naturally in the water, sometimes that little movement is enough to trigger a bite. And if it's super tight and even the hair jigs aren't working, Put a little tiny minnow on there, put it right through its lips and that minnow will, set, will act super natural like that and a lot of times that will trigger a strike. So go back to the basics, keep it natural, follow these tips and you just might catch yourself some more finicky walleye. Alright that's it, the 7 secrets to catching more fish, finicky walleye. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, smash that like button, make sure you're subscribed. See you next week.